Right, here we go. What are strong indicators of wealth? You can't actually tell if someone will definitely become rich, but of course there are features on the hands that depict a kind of a character that might be a self-made billionaire. For instance, this hand has many of those features. We shall start firstly with the shape of the hand. You can tell that it's not exactly rectangle, not exactly square. So this is a combination hand. These fingers are actually quite long and the hand shape is a combination of an air hand and a fire hand. So I'm saying that because there is a slightly long palm with the uh, fingers. Obviously the palm looks a little bit longer than the fingers, <clears throat> but overall the hand does have long fingers. So it is a combination of fire and air, and that is a really good strong combination for a wealth indicator. Secondly is the mounts. The hand has quite strong mounts, not overly strong up the top, not really overly strong down the bottom either, but they, it does have strong mounts. The mount of moon is firm, which is this area. The mount of Venus is firm, not overly hard, but firm enough to show strength because um, energy comes from these areas and the thumb tip should also be quite firm so not too many fine lines all over the thumb tip so firm mounts a firm hand if your hand is very soft and soggy that shows a lack of energy and the chances of somebody who lacks energy to go and um, make himself or herself wealthy are a lot smaller. They would have to uh, find out why is it that they lack so much energy and uh, see what changes they can do. So now the fingers. Next. Also men already mentioned that the longish fingers are very helpful because it um, depicts somebody who likes to think things through. But on this hand, you can see that the fingers have quite long top phalanges. When you compare it to the middle ones, the top ones are quite long. And that again shows a very active mind. So they are constantly dreaming up ideas on how they might be able to make some more money. And the slight the gap here in these fingers, there's a, I've got that arrow there, showing that the, the pinky juts out a little bit. So that shows a little bit of eccentricity, somebody who is very independent thinker. So they don't mind being advised on what to do. However, they would rather decide, make their own decisions. They don't want people to tell them what to think. They do like to um, think on their own. So the length of this pinky is also quite long. A long pinky is a very good sign of somebody who can communicate well. So also shows their intelligence, um, their business sense and things like that. The long phalanges at the bottom, they are quite long. That indicates a love of some luxury. So you would like to drive in nice cars, etc. So because the top and bottom phalanges are long, don't think that the middle ones are short. So it's a little bit of uh, judging. Are the middle ones short or are the top ones long? So um, after looking at quite a few hands, you might eventually um, be able to judge which it is. So next we've done the fingers, pinky, phalanges, 
Let's go to the lifeline. It's quite strong. So the reason why a strong lifeline is a good indicator of wealth because that shows the energy again. If the line is barely visible and you can't see it, that suggests that the person hasn't made decisions in their life and they're probably a bit lethargic. They don't have a lot of energy and maybe they prefer to sit around behind the desk. A go-getter billionaire is a go-getter billionaire. They have energy, they go out, they get things done, they have ideas and they action, 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 all those ideas. And a strong lifeline is a very good indicator of that. Next, intuition line is very rare. But say, for instance, that's this line down here that I'm drawing right now. Say, for instance, that you have this line. It does give you instincts about certain things, which in turn shows your intelligence. People with this line tend to make intelligent, intuitive decisions. They take risks, however, they're calculated risks. And yes, in case you didn't know what a lifeline was before when I was talking about here, this line that I'm drawing now, that is that strong lifeline. So I might change color next. We will talk about the thumb. This thumb is of good length because it reaches at least halfway of the index finger of the first phalange and there's a balance. The top phalange of will and the bottom of determination are fairly balanced. Nothing overly bulbous, nothing overly thin and the fact that there's no narrowness at the base balance. Sometimes the thumb has got a waist here. It's got like a wasted. Can you see what I've drawn there? So if the thumb is wasted, it sounds like a terrible word. If it has that waistline, that gives a little bit um, of shrewdness. However, it's not a good sign for someone who makes um, clever decisions. So a nice straight thumb. And the fact that the thumb is not up close to the fingers, not fully open, it's not sticking out here, and it's not all the way to the palm, but in between, that's a perfect balanced thumb. So it shows his ability to be generous, but not overly generous. So he's slightly selfish, but not in a overly way. He or she, I'm just keep saying he accidentally. Okay, and I've talked about, oh, we have, I'll talk about all these lines in the middle now. So we have, firstly, the fate line. A clear fate line is quite important because the person has decided, this is the fate line rising up the middle of the palm and rising all the way up to the middle finger. It's also called a satin line. This satin line is important because it shows direction. It shows motivation. It shows that the person has an idea of what they want. They don't want to divert from what they want and they follow and focus and focus on that idea that they have. The fact that there is more than one, there's a double fate lines. It could be, there's a double Apollo line. Apollo line is this one up here, up to the ring finger. So there's double Apollo lines and double fate lines. So that they both show motivation and ability for various things. So that shows basically a multi-talented person. So there's a lot of talent there and the success line shows that that talent or business skill or whatever they have definitely shows up as a success. He's very happy with what he's achieved. So this is why the success line doesn't specifically depict 
a billionaire, but it depicts that they are happy with what they've achieved. So if you're not happy unless you're a billionaire, well, so be it. Now, the passion line that I've mentioned up here, which I didn't talk about before, usually arises from the heart line. It can rise from the actual Apollo line, but that's more like an inspiration line. So if it rises from the heart line up to the pinky there, that shows that something you're passionate about rushes, like especially a business, going towards the pinky, which represents business. So that passion line represents he's passionate about what he does. Another thing that shows passion in general, not just in relationships, but passion in his life. Passion means that you go out and you get what you want. This, this heart line, whilst it appears to end under the um, middle finger, which shows a more selfish kind of nature in relationships, however, it has a branch which rises up. Now, whether the heart line fully goes up there or if there's a branch that rises up there, that shows a passionate nature. So they are very, very into what they do. The headline should be clear and straight, can have a curve in it that gives a creativeness. There's a creative curve, then the headline here, which I'm drawing, has um, a sign of intelligence. If the headline is all broken up, that might suggest that the, the thinking is not steady, that there's mixed mixed thoughts and things just aren't going steadily. So it, one of the best signs to have in a headline for billionaires is for it to be one continuous line. Not too long, not too short. If it's too long all the way somewhere, it, it might depict some obsessiveness, but it might also go the wrong way where the obsessiveness is directed in the wrong direction. So there you go. I hope that has been very helpful for you and I'm sure I will be doing another one of these videos soon and I'll catch you later. See ya. Bye.